In this video, I'll show you how you can use food coloring and other household items to do some really beautiful color changing acid base experiments. The key to this experiment is the use of food dyes that are advertised as coming from natural sources. To make sure you're using the right food dyes, be sure to check the ingredients list. The correct food dyes for this experiment has vegetable juice, turmeric, and spirulina extract listed in the ingredients. Let's test the natural green food dye first. I'll add a little bit to each of these three flasks. And now I'll add vinegar, which has a low or acidic pH to the first flask. We see a yellow-green color develop. Second, I'll add some ammonia, which has a high or basic pH to the third flask. In this case, we see an orange color develop. Finally, I'll just add some distilled water to the middle flask. Oh, in this case, we get a nice green color. Let's try the red food dye this time. The first flask contains vinegar, which has a low pH. The second flask contains water. And the last flask contains ammonia, which has a high pH. It looks like we get a dark purple color in the high pH ammonia a red color in water, and a cherry red color at the low pH of vinegar. Let's add some baking soda to the flask that contains water to raise the pH just a bit. We get a shift in color to a nice purple when we add baking soda. These color changes occur because these dyes act as acid-base indicators. This means that the colors of the compounds in the dyes change with pH. The green dye, which you see here in the top set of vials, is sort of yellowish at the low pH of vinegar, shifts to green as the pH is raised, and then becomes yellow or orange at high pH, such as what was observed in ammonia. The red food dye, which you see in the lower set of vials, is cherry red at low pH, shifts to a purple as it approaches neutral pH of 7, and then changes to blue or even dark purple at very high pH, like what we saw in ammonia. Maybe you'll try some of these experiments on your own. If you do, be sure to let me know in the comments what you see. Maybe you'll try investigating with the yellow or blue natural food dyes, which I didn't test in this video. I look forward to hearing what you find out. Thanks a lot for watching.